The Chinese Academy of Sciences CAs, Chinese, Yuan with historical origins in the Academia Sinica during the Republican era and formerly also known by that name, is the National Academy for the Natural Sciences of the People's Republic of China PRC. Collectively known as the Two Academies, Liangyun. Along with the Chinese Academy of Engineering, it is an institution of China, functioning as the national scientific think tank and academic governing body, providing advisory and appraisal services on issues stemming from the national economy, social development, and science and technology progress. It is headquartered in Zicheng District, Beijing, with branch institutes all over mainland China. It has also created hundreds of commercial enterprises, Lenovo being one of the most famous. It is the world's largest research organization, comprising around 60,000 researchers working in 114 institutes, and has been consistently ranked among the top research organizations around the world. The Chinese Academy of Sciences was ranked the number one research institute in the world by Nature Publishing Index 2017, by Nature Publishing Group. Topic Organization The Chinese Academy originated in the Academia Sinica founded, in 1928, by the Guomindang Nationalist Government. After the Communist Party took control of mainland China, the Academia Sinica was renamed Chinese Academy of Sciences CAs. The Chinese Academy of Sciences has six academic divisions Chemistry Huazubu Information Technological Sciences Sinshiji Shukezubu Earth Sciences Dezubu Life Sciences and Medical Sciences Shengmingkezu Hiyizuzubu Mathematics and Physics Shuzu Wuli Zubu Technological Sciences Jishukezubu The CAs has 13 regional branches, in Beijing, Shenyang, Changchun, Shanghai, Nanjing, Wuhan, Guangzhou, Chengdu, Kunming, Xi'an, Lanzhou, Hefei and Xinjiang. It has over 100 institutes and two universities the University of Science and Technology of China at Hefei, Enwei and the University University of the Chinese Academy of Sciences in Beijing. Backed by the Institutes of CAs, UCAS is headquartered in Beijing, with graduate education bases in Shanghai, Chengdu, Wuhan, Guangzhou and Lanzhou, four science libraries of Chinese Academy of Sciences, three technology support centers and two news and publishing units. These CA's branches and offices are located in 20 provinces and municipalities throughout China. CA's has invested in or created over 430 science and technology based enterprises in 11 industries, including eight companies listed on stock exchanges. Being granted a fellowship of the Academy represents the highest level of national honor for Chinese scientists. The CA's membership system includes academicians, Yuanxi Emeritus Academicians Yuanxi and Foreign Academicians Yiji Yuanxi Current President, Bai Chunli Research reputation and ranking Based on the number of papers published in Nature and or other research journals published by the Nature Publishing Group NPG, the Chinese Academy of Science has ranked first among research institutions in the world according to the Nature Publishing Index elaborated by NPG in 2014 and 2015.
Topic: List of presidents. 1949 to 1978, Guo Moruo. 1979 to 1981, Fang Yi. 1981 to 1987, Liu Jiaxi. 1987 to 1997, Zhou Guangzhou. 1997 to 2011, Liu Yongxiang. 2011 present, Bai Chunli. Topic: Academy members. Membership of the Chinese Academy of Sciences also known by the title Academician CAs, Chinese, is a lifelong honor given to Chinese scientists who have made significant achievements in various fields. According to bylaws for members of the Chinese Academy of Sciences adopted in 1992 and recently amended in 2014, it is the highest academic title in China. A formal CA's member must hold Chinese citizenship, although foreigners can be elected as foreign members of CA's. Members older than 80 are designated as senior members and may no longer hold leading positions in the organization. Academicians of the Chinese Academy of Sciences carry an obligation to advance science and technology, to advocate and uphold scientific spirit, to develop a scientific and technological workforce, to attend member meetings and receive consultation and evaluation tasks, and to promote international exchanges and cooperation. Academicians can give suggestions and influence Chinese state policy related to science and technology. Topic: Reform. Topic: Challenges. In 2015, the Academy employed a staff of 60,000 and counted 104 research institutes. It operates on a budget of roughly RMB 42 billion circa $6.8 billion, just under half of which comes from the government. The Academy is struggling with a number of challenges. It is in direct competition with other Chinese institutions of learning for funding and talent. Underpaid scientists from the academy have to apply constantly for grants to supplement their income, a widespread phenomenon in the entire research and higher education sector, which may have resulted in underperformance. Although the Chinese Academy of Sciences hosts the world's largest graduate school in terms of the number of postgraduate degrees awarded each year, which include 5,000 PhDs, the academy the Academy has been finding it difficult in recent years to attract the best and brightest students. This has spurred the Academy to found two affiliated universities in Beijing and Shanghai, both of which opened their doors to a couple of hundred undergraduates in 2014. The Academy has seen its work duplicated on a large scale by its own institutes, which tend not to collaborate with each other. There is also a lack of interest among the Academy's scientists in seeking opportunities to apply their research to the economy. Although this should not be its core mission, the Academy is also encumbered by the breadth of its mandate, which ranges from research, talent training, strategic high tech development, commercialization of research results, and local engagement to the provision of policy advice as a think tank and through through its elite academicians, this makes it extremely difficult for the Academy to manage and evaluate institutes and individual scientists. <laughs> <laughs> Topic. 
Political context Since 2013, China's political leadership has placed science, technology and innovation at the core of the reform of its economic system, as innovation can help not only with restructuring and transforming the economy but also with solving other challenges that China faces, from inclusive, harmonious and green development to an aging society and the middle income trap. New initiatives have been launched to reform the Chinese Academy of Sciences and the centrally financed national science and technology programs, in order to increase China's chances of becoming an innovation-oriented, modern nation by 2020. This is the goal of the National Medium and Long-Term Plan for the Development of Science and Technology 2006 to 2020. Soon after being made General Secretary of the Communist Party of China and State President, Xi Jinping paid a visit to the Chinese Academy of Sciences in July 2013. General Secretary Xi urged the Academy to be a pioneer in four areas SIGE Shuizhan, in leapfrogging to the frontier of scientific research, in enhancing the nation's innovative talent pool, in establishing the nation's high-level think tank in science and technology and in becoming a world-class research institution. Topic: Reclassification of the Academy's institutes. Since 2013, the Chinese Academy of Sciences has come under enormous pressure from the political leadership to produce visible achievements. The loss of independence of the Russian Academy of Sciences, the successor to the Soviet Academy of Sciences on which the Chinese Academy of Sciences was modeled, in a top down reform in 2013 sent a chilling signal. If the Chinese Academy of Sciences does not reform itself, others will. This realization prompted Academy President Bai Chunli to take advantage of Xi's call for the Academy to become a pioneer in four areas to propose a sweeping reform of the Academy through a new pioneering action initiative the aim of this initiative is to orient the Academy towards the international frontier of science, major national demands and the battleground for the national economy by reorganizing existing institutes into four categories Centers of Excellence focused on basic science, especially in those areas where China has a strong advantage. Innovation Academies targeting areas with underdeveloped commercial potential Centers of Big Science built around large-scale facilities to promote domestic and international facilities to promote domestic and international collaboration, and Institutes with special characteristics devoted to initiatives that foster local development and sustainability. The reclassification of the Academy's institutes and their scientists was still underway in 2015. The Academy seems to be resting on its past achievements, with little consideration for whether this new initiative may be good for the nation or the Academy. This explains why some are skeptical about the necessity of maintaining such a gigantic organization, a model not found anywhere else in the world. Many of the goals that Academy President Bai Chunli proposed for the Pioneering Action Initiative are identical to those of his predecessor, Liu Yongxiang, through his own Knowledge Innovation Program. There is no guarantee that these goals will be fulfilled through the reform undertaken in 2013. 
The Pioneering Action Initiative is pivoting institutions into a new matrix so as to boost collaboration within the Academy and concentrate on tackling key research questions. Implementation will be tough, though, since many institutes do not fit easily into any of the four categories defined above. Another worry is that the initiative may not necessarily encourage collaboration with scientists external to the Chinese Academy of Sciences. The danger is that the Academy may actually become even more hermetic and isolated than before. The timing of the reform may also complicate matters. The reform at the Academy coincides with the nationwide reform of public institutions launched in 2011. In general, the country's 1.26 million public institutions of education, research, culture, and health care, which have more than 40 million employees, fall into two types. Institutes within the Chinese Academy of Sciences that fall into Type 1 are to be fully financed from the public purse and will be expected to fulfill only the tasks set by the state. Type II institutes of the Academy, on the other hand, will be allowed to supplement partial public funding with income earned through other activities, including through government procurement of their research projects, technology transfer and entrepreneurship. The reform will thus have implications both for the institutes and for individual scientists, in terms of the amount of stable funding they receive and the level of salaries, as well as the scope and importance of the executed projects. It is also likely that some institutes will be corporatized, as this is what has happened to China's application-oriented research institutes since 1999. Consequently, the Chinese Academy of Sciences will need to become a leaner institution, as the state may not always be willing or able to finance such a costly body. Topic. Previous reforms The question of the Academy's place in China's national innovation system was first raised at the time of the Academy's inception, immediately after the founding of the People's Republic of China in 1949. At the time, research and training were separated at universities and industrial research institutes focused on specific problems in their particular sectors. The Academy contributed, in particular, to the success of China's strategic weapons programs through a mission oriented disciplinary development strategy. The high visibility of the Chinese Academy of Sciences attracted keen attention from the political leadership. In the mid-1980s, when China began reforming its science and technology system, the Academy was forced to adopt a one academy, two systems approach. This strategy consisted in concentrating a small number of scientists on basic research and following the global trend in high technology, while encouraging the majority of its staff to engage in the commercialization of research results and projects of direct relevance to the economy. The overall quality of research suffered, as did the Academy's ability to tackle basic research. In 1998, the president of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, Liu Yongxiang, initiated the Knowledge Innovation Program to improve the Academy's vitality. Initially, the Academy hoped to satisfy the Chinese leadership by making the staff of its institutes more nimble and mobile. 
The Academy's very existence was threatened, however, after it was downsized to compensate for the government's efforts to strengthen the research capability of universities and the national defense sector, the very sector that had historically absorbed Academy personnel or depended upon the Academy to take on major research projects. In reaction, the Academy not only reversed its early approach but even significantly expanded its reach. It established application-focused research institutes in new scientific disciplines and new cities and formed alliances with provincial and local governments and industries. The Suzhou Institute of Nanotech and Nanobionics is one such establishment. It was created jointly by the Academy and the Jiangsu Provincial and Suzhou Municipal Governments in 2008. Some of these new institutes are not fully supported by the public purse. In order to survive, they have to compete with existing institutes and engage in activities that bear little relation to the Academy's mission as the National Academy. Topic research institutes Beijing Branch University of the Chinese Academy of Sciences UCAS Academy of Mathematics and Systems Science Institute of Acoustics IOA Institute of Physics IOPCAS Institute of Semiconductors Institute of Electrical Engineering IEE Institute of Information Engineering IIE Institute of Theoretical Physics Institute of High Energy Physics Institute of Biophysics Institute of Genetics and Developmental Biology Institute of Electronics National Astronomical Observatories Institute of Computing Technology Institute of Software Institute of Automation Beijing Institute of Genomics Institute of Geographic Sciences and Natural Resources Institute of Remote Sensing and Digital Earth Institute of Vertebrate Paleontology and Paleoanthropology National Center for Nanoscience and Technology Institute of Policy and Management Institute of Psychology Shanxi Institute of Coal Chemistry Nanjing Branch Purple Mountain Observatory Zijinshan Astronomical Observatory Institute of Soil Science Nanjing Institute of Geology and Paleontology Nanjing Institute of Geography and Limnology Nanjing Institute of Astronomical Optics and Technology Suzhou Institute of Nanotech and Nanobionics SINANO Suzhou Institute of Biomedical Engineering and Technology SIBET Nanjing Botanical Garden Memorial Sun Yat-sen Institute of Botany Jiangsu Province and Chinese Academy of Science Nanjing Astronomical Instrument Co Limited, former Nanjing Astronomical Instrument Research Center University of Chinese Academy of Sciences, Nanjing College Changchun Branch Changchun Institute of Optics and Fine Mechanics and Physics Changchun Institute of Applied Chemistry Northeast Institute of Geography and Agroecology Changchun Observatory Guangzhou Branch South China Botanical Garden Shenzhen Institutes of Advanced Technology Hefei Branch Hefei Institutes of Physical Science University of Science and Technology of China Kunming Branch Kunming Institute of Botany Kunming Institute of Zoology Zishuangbana Tropical Botanical Garden Institute of Geochemistry Yunnan Astronomical Observatory Lanzhou Branch Institute of Modern Physics Lanzhou Institute of Chemical Physics Lanzhou Institute of Geology Northwest Institute of Plateau Biology 
Northwest Institute of Eco Environment and Resources, Qinghai Institute of Salt Lakes Research, Shanghai Branch, Shanghai Astronomical Observatory, Shanghai Institute of Micro System and Information Technology, Shanghai Institute of Technical Physics Shanghai Institute of Optics and Fine Mechanics Shanghai Institute of Ceramics Shanghai Institute of Organic Chemistry Shanghai Institute of Applied Physics Shanghai Institutes for Biological Sciences Shanghai Institute of Materia Medica Institute Pasteur of Shanghai Shanghai Advanced Research Institute CAS Institute of Neuroscience Ion Shanghai Tech University Shenyang Branch Institute of Metal Research Shenyang Institute of Automation Shenyang Institute of Applied Ecology formerly the Institute of Forestry and Pedology Shenyang Institute of Computing Technology Dalian Institute of Chemical Physics Qingdao Institute of Oceanology Qingdao Institute of Bioenergy and Bioprocess Technology Yantai Institute of Coastal Zone Research Wuhan Branch Wuhan Institute of Rock and Soil Mechanics Wuhan Institute of Physics and Mathematics Wuhan Institute of Virology Institute of Geodesy and Geophysics Institute of Hydrobiology Wuhan Botanical Garden Topic: Scientific Integrity On 26 February 2007, CAS published a declaration of scientific ideology and set up a commission for scientific integrity to promote transparency, autonomy and accountability of scientific research in the country. The Ministry of Science and Technology had at the same time also initiated measures to address misconduct in state-funded programs. Topic: Publications. Together with the National Natural Science Foundation of China, the Academy publishes the peer-reviewed academic journal Science China, also known as Science in China. Science China comprises seven series, A, Mathematics B, Chemistry C, Life Sciences D, Earth Sciences E, Technological Sciences F, Information Sciences G, Physics, Mechanics and Astronomy. <laughs> Awards Since 1999 the CAS has issued the annual State Preeminent Science and Technology Award, presented by the President of China to the recipient. See also